Victoria Scholar. everyone here in London. Thanks so much for joining us for day three. And thank you so much as well to those who are tuning in online via the app. Wow, I can't believe it is day three already. The final day, sadly, uh, of the London Blockchain Conference 2023. I'm still Victoria Scholar and I am still very much uh, your host as we begin uh, the final sessions of uh, the conference. And it's already shaping up to be another jam-packed day uh, and this agenda is all about driving competitiveness and driving innovation with blockchain technology so set to be another super interesting day now just a reminder if you do miss any of the panels you can uh, catch up with those or, or re-watch any panels that you found particularly interesting via our app uh, you can find the QR code dotted around the venue and also on your pass and please don't forget to share your highlights from the events on social media, your photos, videos, whatever it is you'd like to share using the hashtag LDNBlockchain23. That's all one word. Um, yeah, so we've had an amazing agenda so far, as many of you know. Uh, yesterday, we learned about uh, the world of NFTs and applying them uh, in a meaningful and engaging way to Web3 gaming. Uh, we also heard a panel about digital asset security. Uh, we spoke to someone who actually uh, suffered a loss in terms of a digital asset uh, and what they could do to try and recover that, some of the legal uh, process around that. So that was super interesting. And we also had a panel here about permissioned versus permissionless blockchains. Some of you knew, who that wa knew what that was, some didn't. Uh, so it was a bit of an education uh, slot as well.